What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Joe and this is Heart and Hustle Printing. In this video, we're going to be putting together the Anatol Thunder and then hopefully we're going to start setting up this area right here where we're going to be having our conveyor dryer, our flash dryer and the Anatol Thunder. The exposing unit hasn't got here yet, but they called me Friday and it is now being sent. So that's going to go in another place. It's not going to go out here with the rest of the equipment. If you guys remember, whenever we uncrated this right here, I didn't show you how we took this thing apart and how we brought it in the building. I think you saw the base come in the building just for a short clip. But um, this place that we have here doesn't have a big overhead door. This has the standard 36 inch door. So um, Anatol had already told me that once I get this equipment that I was gonna have to take it completely apart just to get it inside the door. They also told me that whenever I got the stuff and I was ready to bring it in, just to give their techs a call and they would tell me how to take it apart. But again, like you guys saw, whenever we were taking this apart, it was already late in the evening. So I had to get it inside because I didn't want to leave it out there overnight. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to put this back together if you have to get it inside of a standard 36 inch door. Since I already took it apart, however I put it together, you just take it apart the opposite way, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. All right, so we got this in place where we're going to put it. What we have to do now is we have to get this back onto this right here. So this is a bearing and then it's hollow in the inside and then there's a bearing on the other side. So whenever we put this on there, we got to make sure that we don't hit it to, I guess, make it lopsided because then it's going to turn lopsided. So it has this washer right here. Got to make sure this goes in place. Make sure that goes in place whenever you put it back on. So there's one for the bottom and there's one for the top right here. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to put this back on. So I got my buddy here, Blake, again from the Car Club Street Enthusiast. So over at the vinyl stand, we sponsored Street Enthusiast. And he had told me that if I ever needed any help when it came to this shop to let him know and they'd come help. So, so I just want to say, I give him a shout out and the Car Club. So I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right, so when putting this back on, you want to make sure that this bearing is going to go in there straight. And then whenever you're sliding it down, you don't want to slam it down because what's going to happen is um, there's a top bearing also. And with that top bearing, you don't want to pop it out. So go very slowly. Whenever you get it here, you're just going to keep going down with it very slowly till you get it right back into place. So once you get this piece back on there, same thing with this one, there's a bearing on the bottom. And then with this, this one up here, you wanna be careful with it because again, you don't want this to pop out, right? So this has, I guess we could say a gasket that goes here. So you're gonna put that gasket there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this back on here. We do have the laser system for this, but for now we're gonna go ahead and put this back just so I can show you how it came whenever we first got it, right? So put that back just like that. And then we're gonna take these four bolts right here and put it right back into place all right so I'm not going to tighten it all the way down because we are going to be installing the laser system here um, so that is basically what you have to do right, so that's it that's how you put this thing back together if you have a standard door like I have here a 36 inch door you're not going to be able to get this thing inside of it as you can see this thing is really wide and then if you try to turn it sideways and put the arms in there and then you know like you would do a couch it's not going to work so that's how you would take this off take off that top piece first and then what you're going to do is get some people around this so that you can lift it up um, in unison or all at once and then you're going to do the same thing for this right here where the arms go you're going to do the same thing for that once you do that this thing um, becomes really light after after doing all that but um, if you try to move this just like this, it's really heavy. So, so what we're going to do is I want to install these, but I cannot find the screws for them or the bolts. So I don't know what we're going to do right now because I need to find the bolts for that. So I think we're going to install the brackets for this. We'll go ahead and do the brackets. And then I'll probably have to run to the store to try to find some bolts for that. So we can install that if I can't find them or if they weren't even um, shipped out. I don't, I don't remember. There was a lot, a lot of stuff going on that day. So... 
Let's go ahead and start installing these right now. <laughs> we'll come back. No, no, turn on him. Snatch out of here, you know me. So he's like, oh, I'm going to clean it up. All right, so we're going to be moving the conveyor dryer, but with the conveyor dryer, this thing is like super heavy, right? So we put those little slide pads on the bottom and they're working out. So we're going to go ahead and move this and get it into place. All right, so we got that thing in place. Luckily we had those, luckily my sister-in-law bought those um, slider things, so it made it a whole lot easier whenever it came to moving this. So I think this is where we're gonna leave it for now. Um, I think this is where we're gonna leave it because it's in a good spot. Um, we're gonna be taking the shirts off from here, putting them on there, and then they'll come out on the other side over there. And then with these windows, it's pretty cool because a lot of people that have been coming by are interested in what we're doing. So it's, it's good to have it right there instead of back here where we're gonna put it. Um, we, I also went to Lowe's and we found the bolts that we needed, right? Since I can't find them or they weren't sent, I don't know. Uh, we bought lock washers and a washer to put these on. So we're going to go ahead and install these arms now. All right, so a good thing about these arms when you get them is they all come numbered like this. So this one is number four. And then you just find the arm that goes with it. And as you can see, this one right here says number four. So this one will go right here. All of them are numbered, so just put them where they belong because they come factory set already. This is basically gonna take all the arms, line them up where they need to go, and then we're gonna start putting them on so that we can um, get these installed and then put the pallets on here too. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that we got all the arms on there, we're gonna go ahead and take out these pellets. See how these look. So these did come, also come crated. I didn't show how they came crated um, with a two by four down the middle to hold them all in place. So let's go ahead, open this up. All right, so here's the first one right here. Now, as you guys can see, it is aluminum. It is aluminum on the bottom, but then it has something on top, it's like a padding on here. I'm not sure what it's called, whatever. I don't know what it is, um, but it has a padding on the top, right? So, and then in between each of the pallets, they put a parchment paper, it looks like, to keep them from scratching. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lay these by the arms, and then we're gonna start installing them and see how they look. All right, to install these pellets, you gotta move these little levers towards you. You can see right here, there's a little lip under here. So you would just bring it forward on both sides. All four of them have to be facing forward. You will then take your pellet, set it on there, and slide it right into place. Then once you have it where you want it, you grab these little levers, move them to the out position, just like that. And by you doing that, it now locks the pellet in place. So that it doesn't move all right so if you look at this you'll see the rail system that it just has and then whenever you turn these that's what this clamps down on so it holds it in place so what we're going to do is go ahead and put the rest of them on here and then lock them into place all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to install the laser all right so here is the bar that's going to hold the laser and then inside this box right here we have the laser so here's what it looks like four different ones not sure what those are for and then probably the on off switch right here 
And then also in here we have the plug for it. So let's go ahead and install this. All right, so if you guys remember earlier, I told you we weren't going to tighten this because we were gonna be installing the laser on here and this is exactly where it's gonna go. All right, so if you look at this plate and you look at the bottom of this right here, you can see they're both the same. They got that triangle pattern, so you can put it however you want to do it. Um, I just got to figure out where I'm going to be whenever I'm screen printing so I can put this in the right position. Then we pull it right out of there. Next thing we have to do is do the same thing for the pipe. All right, so there's the laser system, how it looks. We've already plugged it in, so let's go ahead and turn this on and see how it looks. All right, so as you can see, these things are everywhere. They're all down here towards the bottom. We can adjust the pellet however we want, but what I'm gonna show you is how you can adjust these right here. So with each individual laser the way it is, you can simply turn these right here and then you can move these however you want and then you could turn them to change the angle of your laser. So we're gonna go ahead and set these two up for the centerpiece and then we'll set these up for just a chest piece um, just to see how it's gonna look. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off these two because we're gonna use those for the chest. This one is one we're gonna use for, I guess we could say the center. We just line this up. Uh, we can eventually measure this right here. Um, we're just doing this real quick so that we can see how these work. So just line it up and then once you got it lined up, what you're gonna do is come up here and then tighten this right where you want it. So now you can see this one somewhat in the center. It's not exactly in the center because we don't have anything measured out. And then the same thing with this one, you could also move it however you want and then say this was where we were putting the neck, we can go three or four fingers under that. Once we get it where we want it, we will then just lock it in place so that it won't move. And then again, if we're setting up for the chest piece, come in here, grab this one. Uh, we'll just go, we'll just say the chest piece is right there. Get our line straight, tighten it where we want it. And then we'll get our other one, we'll turn it on, we'll bring it up where we want it. We'll say this is where we want it for the chest piece and then we would lock it in place. All right, so I went in and turned off the light, so hopefully you can see that a little bit better. But whenever you put a shirt on here, you're gonna put it on. Then whenever you bring this back to the edge, you will have your three fingers. Your image would go here, or if you're doing a chest piece, it would go there. So um, pretty cool with the lasers. I've never had lasers with the other ones, so I'm excited to give this thing a spin. All right, so that's it. I just wanna show you how the lasers would work. Uh, we'll set this up later whenever we get all our measurements for the pallets. But for now, this is how it's going to work. All right, so there it is. I just want to take you guys to the process real quick of how we got this in this building. I know I didn't show you how we got it in here, um, but I showed you how we put it back together. Like I said, I don't have the big roll-up door. We have a storefront. So in the storefront, we have the standard 36-inch doors. And then the back door, also back there, is a standard 36-inch door. So no matter what we did, we couldn't tilt this thing and get it in here. Um, so we had to take it completely apart. And the way we put it back together is the same way you take it apart, just in the reverse order. And then after we got it put back together, I showed you how the arms got on there. And I don't know what I did with those bolts. Like, we just, we're moving stuff from one spot to another spot to paint. So everything is just, they're probably here somewhere, just don't know where yet. But if you need those bolts for some reason, like you lost them like I did, um, you can go to Lowe's and find them. They're metric bolts so you can find them there and then after we did that we put the laser on there we turned it on we did a quick rundown of how it works um, i'm not really sure i haven't really got into it yet so this is the first day i put it together and you guys got to see it firsthand whenever i did that All right and then like i told you guys you guys were going to start seeing a lot of these red presses right so i'm transparent i don't try to hide anything from anybody i told you guys from the beginning whenever we were screen printing in the garage with that i told you guys that i was getting anatol equipment so we got the anatol equipment we set it up and I'm very humble, I'm very thankful that they reached out to me and offered me this equipment. So if you're doing YouTube videos, keep doing what you're doing, right? You never know who's watching. Um, I never expected for Anatol 
or any of these other companies that are watching me to be watching me. You know what I mean? Uh, make sure you put your email down in the description because that's how people can get a hold of you if they're interested in what you're doing. So um, keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting out content because like I said, you never know who's watching your videos, right? So I just want to say the coolest thing about this equipment is I don't have to go out and change my logo, right? My logo is already red. The equipment's red. So it's just a perfect match, right? So I just want to say thank you to all of the subscribers. Um, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible, right? So I just want to say thank you guys for everything, for all the thumbs up, for all the thumbs down. I appreciate all of you guys. I ain't a hater, right? Um, that's it for now. We're going to go ahead. Tomorrow they're supposed to come hook up the conveyor dryer. So hopefully they come do that and the flash dryer tomorrow. So then we can start printing on this thing. So thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Thank you for all the support. And until next time, Keep pressing.